Hi YouTubers, this is the unboxing of the JLHD amps. Uh, this one is the 600 by 4. I know the box says 750 by 1. I have a 750 by 1. I couldn't actually find a box for the 600 by 4. Both are exactly the same. So let's see what you get in the box. That is how the unit comes. Quite a weight, the amp, which is always a good sign. Um, and that is what you get basically. It's got the jail on the front, your connections are on the back. We will take this front plate off just to see what's behind there. We've also got the power and the left and right connectors. As I actually have the mono block to this as well, I've actually got the stacking kit. So you can stack two amps on top of each other just to save some space in your boot. You get the two Allen keys, the instruction manual, and the mounting screws. That's all you get in a box. These are very expensive amps, so I'd like to hope you got a little bit more, but clearly not. So let's take off the front panel and let's see what we have. Once you take the front cover off, all of your gain settings, crossovers, power, are all underneath here. Um, the mono block will obviously only have one side of this rather than two. On the back, you've got your power and you've got your plugs for your outputs for your front speakers and rear speakers. You've got your RCA inputs. And if you're going to loop around to another amp, you can loop around. If you are going to run this as a bridged channels to run your subs off, you can put a bass controller in there and run it off the bass controller. I love the plug features in the back. You can plug your plugs straight in and then you could pull them straight out pretty easily. They are a bit tight, but they come out pretty simply. The speaker ones are considerably tighter, so I'm not gonna put them in because there are a lot of aggro to take out. Um, I did mention I got the stacking screws. So you unscrew the existing ones actually come with screws already in them which then you will put into here unscrew the top screw put your other JLHD amp straight on top and screw it back in through here and then your nut will go back onto your top one and you have a complete very smart looking system these amps are not value for money they are not the cheapest amps money can buy however we will be testing them out to see if they are one of the best amps money can buy so stay tuned for the next video which will actually demonstrate both the mono block and the four channel working together stacked up looking good hopefully thanks very much for tuning in bye